No, actually, this is my autobiography. Do you know how those work? Your autobiography? Ha! No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Folks, what is up and welcome to another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Howdy. And our actual lawyer, Porridge. Hello, partners. <laughs> uh, Kyle Pokes, if you'd like to watch this live, <laughs> you can head on down to the local <laughs> saloon at twitch.tv slash team and rustle us up a couple corn doggies over on patreon.com slash safety what why are there corn Whee! dogs i don't know but hey i do like a good corn dog uh <laughs> this 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 intro stinks worse than my grandpappy's chili i'll tell you that <laughs> this this intro ain't big enough for the three of us partner <laughs> all right uh, fine i'll 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 leave <laughs> <laughs> he left the car that's good uh, <laughs> folks, if you want to support us on patreon.com slash save the team, please do that. Uh, just two bucks a month gets you access to the full VOD channel of every single stream we do. Five bucks a month gets you access to voting on one of our variety streams each month, as well as gets your name included as an NPC in our D&D campaign saving throw. New episode tomorrow. And at the $10 level and above, you get your name included in this Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Fluff Guff, Mr. Cola, Philo, Dave, Paul, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Crow, Knight, Danny, Antelester, Kevin, Nation, Shadow, Navi. Witch Tower, Sky, Herlock, High, Taco, Sensei, Aki, Forensic, Beck, Nicole, JFJ, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Jacob L, Go Go, Zeppeli, Sheber, Steam, Riger, Real at Jolie, Baroness for BBC, What and Sure, Lux, Zoom, Sillart, Ami, Borshock, Shrim, Ami, A, Walnut, Wall, Shiny, Catu, P, Diego, Garcia, Earl Knight, Boomer, Emily, Dessert Boy, Man, Elijah, Sly, Rick, Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring, Scribes, Yo, Croissant, Fulfill, A Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla, Mega, Zero, Big Kerbo, Who Needs to Sleep, Leia, Yakta, S, Chrissier, Marriage, O, P, Thank em, thank em, gotta thank em all, gotta thank em all our Patreons! Uh, but folks, I think it's about time to get back into the game. And before I forget, everyone should watch us play Humanity tomorrow. Ah, yes, thank you. Yeah, uh, it's a puzzle game about humanity, but you play as a dog. Pridge will be there, I'll be there, Jason will be there, and Magnus will be there. So get hyped for that. Oh, is that the one where you guide the people to heaven? I don't I know mean, if that's what's whatever. happening, but you're guiding people, yeah. You're guiding a bunch of people into a light, so Yeah, yes. I guess that's probably, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, 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 I, I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah. exactly how biblical it's trying to be, but biblically accurate dog guardian angels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All dogs go take people to heaven. <laughs> all dogs <laughs> take people to heaven. Uh -huh. uh, all right, back home again. Oh shit! I forgot we got Susanto back. Oh boy. Yay! Oh, she's so pretty. I bet we have a bunch of things to talk to her about. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, what was that? What's up with the everything? Yeah. <laughs> Your dad part of the Illuminati? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, this room. If we it's ask you, you have to tell us. <laughs> You're legally You're obligated legally obligated to tell us. tell us. He's part of the Illuminati. Otherwise, it's entrapment. Otherwise, it's entrapment. <laughs> It hasn't changed in the slightest, though. And it's been some six months, hasn't it? That's a long time to say for things to say so familiar. I didn't know when you might return, and I wanted everything to be as you'd left it. But I haven't bathed since you <laughs> left. <laughs> God. But it has oh, been so. I was wondering what that smell was. I noticed. <laughs> But it has been some six months, it's true. So is your father all right, Susie? What happened? Yeah, what is up with that? 
My father? Who's yes, that? Yes, Professor Mikotaba. I mean, it was half a year ago, but that's why you went back to Japan. Because of the telegram you received saying he'd fallen ill with some very high fe with a very with a very high fever for some unknown reason. That's right. So I was surprised to learn you'd be coming back so soon. Surprised, but happy. By the way, did you see my daddy while you were in <laughs> Japan? Oh, no. I still don't know where he is, and it's been a really long time. Sir so Sato's sure like, Brian, why haven't you told her, her yet? <laughs> He's like, well, I was waiting for you. I thought you were going to do it. You're better at these things. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell her and then, you know, do a Susato takedown or something. <laughs> I think I wrote about it in my letter to you. That it was all a trick. My father is in fine health. And I'm obviously very, very relieved about that. Well, we're all delighted to have you back. It was quite by accident that I've been able to return to Europe, actually. It's because of a very grand conference called the International Forensic Science Symposium. Have you heard of it? Uh, yes. The International Forensic... It's the same symposium Lord Strongheart mentioned. Anyway, I've arrived safe and sound, and all that matters is that I'm here now. After all, I haven't yet fulfilled my promise to you, Iris. To tell you about your father. <laughs> oh! You must tell us everything that happened while you were back in Japan. Yes, of course, I shall. And there's one other thing. Something you wrote in your letter that particularly grabbed my attention. About Voldemort. <laughs> About you-know-who. About Kazuma. I know. I'll tell you all that I can. All right. Uh, before we forget, we'll look at the spade. Yeah, look at we'll look talk. at that ancient look at that ancient American Daruma up on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thinking back, that spade's been in here since we first moved in, hasn't it? I'm sure I've told you before, Mister Narahodo. It's not a spade; it's a shovel. No, shovels are for digging. That's that's for scooping up loose material. It's a spade. <laughs> no, spades are for digging. That's for scooping up loose material. It's a shovel. <sighs> the great shovel spade shovel war rages on. <laughs> the salt so iron war. Are we are we a spade knight and she's a shovel knight? Is that what's going on? Hey. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, Susato, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> when I first arrived back in Japan, I really thought I'd never be allowed to return to Britain. But curiously, after that awful trial at the Supreme Court, Father's mood changed entirely. The awful trial? Oh, yes, for the murder of Giselle Brett. <laughs> Oh, you trust us a man then, didn't you, Susie? Yes, my father's mood changed entirely. He asked me if I would go look for his daughter in the UK. <laughs> he was like, I wonder where Susato's gone off to. <laughs> Young man, could you go and look for her? <laughs> it was very strange. Oh, well, yes. Since women are forbidden in the courtroom, I had no choice. Wow. Amazing! I wish I'd seen it. Don't you, Runo? I bet you looked really cool. Um, Cooler yeah. than me! Yeah, I really should have been the main character of this game. I, I mean, what? Suppose so. I want to play at being a lawyer now. <laughs> I can wear a false moustache, maybe. Okay, well now, I'm not playing. It's a job. <laughs> I don't... Really? Where's your paycheck? <laughs> Damn, got me on that one. <laughs> I don't think any moustache could hide the fact that you're just ten years old, Iris. There's something else I've been wanting to ask you, Miss Susato. It's about the... I'm just imagining the judge. 
Well, hello there, very short mustachioed gentleman. <laughs> it's about the real reason why Professor Mikotoba summoned you back to Japan. You said in your letter it had something to do with the convict's loot we found in Mr. Natsume's lodgings. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the I collar. remember I have the, bloody, the bloody collar. Yeah. yeah. And not the one with actual blood on it, not the bloody collar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The very large dog collar we found with the B emblem on it. The letter, not the... With the, the B movie the the on it. <laughs> and the engraving on the inside. You like jazz. Damn, I was going to say, this is the collar I wear when I listen to jazz. <laughs> <laughs> it seems Mr. Natsume included a drawing of the collar in the report he submitted about his time in Britain. I understand that when Father saw the report... He turned as white as a sheet. Why would that be, then? Father came to Britain himself, of course, to study. It was some time ago now, but he stayed for six years. Yeah, that is a long time. I can only imagine that something must have happened during that time. <laughs> no. Maybe he maybe he betrayed uh, all, a prosecutor, and <laughs> oh! for some reason... That caused some sort of rift in that person's life, and his career trajectory changed. And he is no twist. longer a darling who wears sailors. <laughs> but if he refuses to tell me what it was, then I intend to find the answers for myself. And I've decided that I, for one, won't keep any more secrets. Oh, Susie. But I'm not going to tell you about your... <laughs> Dad, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one secret I'm keeping. It's a very meaningful look, Susato-san's giving Iris there. Uh, <laughs> so, Iris, about <laughs> your dad. Uh, Mr. Sato, maybe we should wait for a second? Yeah. <laughs> Lord Strongheart mentioned something about that symposium, too. I think he said that the investigative authorities from 40 different countries would attend. Yes, and from Japan. My father and Judge Jigoku haven't been invited. Oh, shit. They're going to be here. It, it's something of an honor, I believe. Well, Professor Mikotaba is the leading expert in forensic medicine in our country, after all. But who's the other person you mentioned? A judge, did you say? <laughs> There's no idea yes. the judge's last name. His Excellency, Excellency, Judge Seishiro Jigoku. You've met him, Mr. Narahodo. Last year, in the Supreme Court? You can't possibly have forgotten. Oh, yes, the Scottish Japanese guy. <laughs> that terrible trial of yours when you were accused of murder. That happened right before that terrible boat trip of yours, where you were accused of murder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I try to think of that as a positive turning point in my life these days. Was it's it? where I learned to <laughs> smack tables. <laughs> well, it was Judge Jigoku who presided over that trial. I'm perfectly honest. I'd be happy to never see that man's face again in my life. Is that Is right, he... Mr. Naruto? <laughs> oh, who invited you here? <laughs> How do you know where I live? <laughs> Jan Solo in the chat says, Whoa, Gak won spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I totally oh. thought he was going to get convicted during that case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, anyway... As father was invited to the symposium, he agreed to me returning to Britain, too. He won't actually arrive until next month, but, well, I couldn't wait. So I pleaded with him, and in the end, he agreed to me going on ahead. It's kind of surprising, actually. Yeah, given that he called you back. Also, that trips uh -huh. across the world take a fucking month at this point in time, according to the game. Yeah, and at that point, it'd be, like, alone. it'd be like, hey, just wait a month and we'll go together. Yeah. Like, it'll <laughs> yeah. be fine. Just want you to make sure, sweetheart, that there are no cats aboard that ship. <laughs> <laughs> yes, about the symposium. 
Oh, apparently it's two months. Shit. My bad. Uh, oh, damn. It seems as though... Little... <laughs> Make sure there are no cats aboard that ship, Susato. <laughs> oh, I have a thing that makes cat doors in any surface. <laughs> oh, my <No>. God. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> That'll lead to the fall of the Japanese Empire. <laughs> seems as though Lord Strongheart has put an awful lot of work to make it happen. It's obviously very important. I believe it is, yes. As I understand it, Lord Strongheart organized the entire event himself. And for no malicious reasons at all. <laughs> I think he's hoping that by achieving exceptional results, he'll get the job of Attorney General. That's right. He's gunning for this bigger position. He'll he'll get the job as the General, and he'll give people low rates on their car insurance. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> the most senior position in the judicial justice system. He's hoping to use his power to create the world's finest policing institution. E. That's what Father... That's what Father said, anyway. Apparently, it's Lord Strongheart's lifelong ambition. Does Professor Mikotaba know Lord Strongheart personally, then, I wonder? I wonder. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Lord Strongheart gave me a long speech about all this, uh, all about this very subject only yesterday. But I sort of lost the will to live early on and didn't really listen to much of it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm still working on getting it back. Yeah. So. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> How trying for you. <laughs> you don't understand. Incredible. I had to listen to an old white guy talk for a very long time. <laughs> About policing <laughs> and how it's important. <laughs> oh. Can I offer you a Susato takedown in these trying times? Please. <laughs> Giselle Brett, the woman whose unforgivable actions ended in me being wrongly accused of a crime I didn't commit. The murder of some guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's completely unrelated to anyone we know. The murder of Dr. John H. Wilson. Please shut up about it. Wait, who, is, who did you say, <laughs> Mr. Narahodo? Don't worry about it. <laughs> yes. I'll tell you when you're older. Giselle Brett. <laughs> It's a name I won't forget for as long as I can live. The extraordinary thing is, though... She dead. It seems it's a name we should all forget. Sorry? A name I won't Good, you've forget. already forgotten it. <laughs> well, you should forget it. <laughs> Since the incident, our government's intelligence services have been investigating Miss Brett. But it turns out that there's n yeah, oh, Whoa! that an English woman by the name of Giselle Brett didn't actually exist. Uh, oh, shit. D didn't exist? But how can that be? It was a pseudonym. <gasps> Her real name was Shin. Oh. And she wasn't a visiting student either. That Her last crime. name was Megumi Tensai. <laughs> of five. Holy shit. Well, <laughs> deluxe edition. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, that's really good. <laughs> Megumi Tensei, five. The royal. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> A front? Who, who on earth was she then? Miss A Miss A Shin. Kind her of. name oh, is shit. literally Her name is literally all our intelligence services have been able to ascertain about her. Her 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 god damn it, I know where her full name is. Asa? Yeah. Yeah. Her name is Asa Ashin. Yeah. Asa Shin. Asa, or, yeah. Asa Shin. God damn Asa it. Shin. <laughs> <laughs> uh Nobody knows why, or even how, she came to be in Japan. I just love, like, Susato, I'm going to stop you right there. I know exactly what her name is. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, tell the Japanese government I figured it all out. We're, let's go. We can go home now. 
It's a complete mystery. <laughs> it's a mystery to everyone. But but it makes no sense. It's no easy task to be accepted as a foreign student anywhere. What could this woman have been up to? I'm afraid I really don't know. The only thing we can be sure of is that she had some business in our country that we don't yet understand. And with a name like Asa Shin, we can <laughs> only imagine what her business <laughs> yeah. in our country was. And now she's been killed, while all the questions surrounding her existence remain unanswered. <laughs> yep, totally unanswered. <sighs> I'm afraid so. A Shin. Who on earth was she? And why do I feel as though I've heard that name before somewhere? Because it was one of the four names on the list. <laughs> the end of the first game. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. God, God dang it, Susan. <laughs> After my friend Ray's trial, who we'll never see again, the reporter who actually killed Miss Brett said something very strange. Across the world, Ray sneezes. Oh my God, Susato thought of me. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, shit, Zach. it's me. I'm in a flashback. Look, look Whoa. That. Yeah. I know the truth. I know you had a hand in what went on. In that visiting student's fate. Nobody here in Japan knows anything about it. They don't know that the guy never made it to England. That he died on that steamship. And that he'll never... <laughs> Obviously, I couldn't ask him to elaborate at the time. But later, I visited the man in his prison cell and asked him what he was going to say about Kazuma-sama. And what did you learn? Unfortunately, right before he told me, somebody blew a poison <laughs> blow dart into his neck. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn? I can't tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> God but damn I thought it. you weren't keeping secrets. <laughs> Shut up. Well, this one too. <laughs> well, it was a secret that I lied about keeping secrets. <laughs> After he died on the voyage to Great Britain, his body should have been unladen at the port of Hong Kong and passed into the care of the consulate staff there. Should have been? Well, it turns out that his body never arrived. God damn it, who is fucking around with Kazuma's body somewhere? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh Wording on that, but you know what I meant. It just disappeared. God damn it. What? Kazuma's body vanished. Our government tried to cover the fact up, it seems. They erected a grave on the cliffs by our hometown. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense why that cutscene happened there. And thinking about Kazuma, I'm erected too. God damn it. <laughs> Except Kazuma-sama isn't there. Did, did Professor Mikotaba know about this? Yes, it would seem that he did. But he didn't tell me. They're still investigating what happened to Kazuma-sama's body as we speak. I... I just don't believe it. What is this acute feeling of apprehension I have all of a sudden? The Kazuma mystery! Kazuma mystery! <laughs> Thinking back now, some of the things that happened on the SS Budia were definitely strange. Yeah, I mean, I'll fucking say. Cats can't kill people. I mean, after he died, we never saw his body again, did we? Nothing suspicious about a murder game where the bodies never, where the body disappears. Yeah. Yeah. Could it be? Could it be? But he's actually still alive. Stop it, Mr. Narahoto. It's too much to bear. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Just thinking about the possibility pains me. So very much. Cast your mind back for a moment, Mr. Narahoto. When Kazuma-sama was discovered, Mr. Sholmes was there, wasn't he? 
A guy who definitely doesn't hide secrets. A guy who totally didn't know Kazuma and has no relation to him whatsoever. (laughs) And he definitely examined the body. I remember it clearly. You're right. Also, uh, (laughs) Fulfill in the chat says cats can't trip steal Kazuma's. Very good. (laughs) Very good. Your meow just a second cat Fuck. has hit the Kazuma. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if Kazuma hadn't actually been dead at all, it would mean that Mr. Sholmes had lied to us. But there's no reason why he would possibly have done such a thing. I, really? You, you can't think of any reason? I suppose that's true, yes. I did, it, of, I did it for fun. <laughs> you can't think of any reason why someone would want to fake the death of someone an assassin's after? Uh, holy shit, <laughs> Bridge! The idea that he might still be alive somewhere. It wants to fill me with hope, but I can't let it. Because if it turned out not to be true... The fact that he could still be alive out somewhere would make a really good twist in a video game. (laughs) But that's completely unrelated to this. (laughs) Then I'd be back at at the bottom of that awful pit of despair again. I'm I'm terrified of what that might do to me. Susato, he was my boyfriend, so, like, I don't know. Back off. (laughs) Back off my dead boyfriend. Miss Susato... I know she's given the idea the thought it deserves. It's Susato-san we're talking about, after all. So I probably shouldn't push it now. Or pull it. Or bop it. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, well. Shit. I mean, that already was a lot of good spicy twists, especially with yeah. uh, what our predictions are on some of this shit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, well, is do we present something to Susato? I don't think we have any, like, crazy thing to show her yet, really. Yeah? Eh. No one said, like, let's get out there and... Do stuff. I mean, we probably should go talk to uh, Hairbrain again. Oh, that's right. We can't move yet. Oh, shit. So we can't. we have to do something. So we got to oh, do yeah. something. Hey. Hey. Susato, do you know I'm still an attorney? <laughs> You're still taking good care of that armband, I see. I'm so pleased. Well, yes. It feels like it wouldn't... I wouldn't be mean without it now, to be honest. Oh, dear. There seems to be a thread coming loose just there. Look. You do realize that that was Cosima's, right? I know! <laughs> I'd be only too happy to mend it for you, Mr. Narhoto. Oh, uh, thank you. I must have scraped it against something again. I'm always doing that. Then take better <laughs> care of it, please. Uh, it was all going so well until I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, maybe the symposium <laughs> newspaper. Talk about that. Oh yeah, the great, great exhibition. exhibition. About this newspaper, Mister Sato. Yes, it's all about the great exhibition. I've been dreaming about it, you know. I was sorry that you were going to miss it when you first got when you got called back to Japan. So was I. I felt desperately unlucky. But here I am, back in London while it's underway. It's a dream come true. I'd much rather be here for this than Cosima be alive. <laughs> if I had to pick one, God it would be it. being here. Perhaps you're not <laughs> as unlucky as you thought then. <laughs> it's a little fucked up, Susanna. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm starting to think you didn't really like him at all. Hey, listen, I told you I'm not keeping secrets anymore. <laughs> You get full, unhinged, uncensored Susato. Think... Unfiltered. <laughs> Uncancel- uncancelable. <laughs> I'm hashtag unfiltered Susato now. <laughs> Once we've helped Professor Hairbrain out of this terrible situation, we should all explore it together. And of course, we must invite the Professor's good friend, Lord Van Zeeks, as well. 
Your luck might not stretch that far. Oh, is there any examine? Is there... Is Iris uh, standing over oh, here? Oh, oh duh, hi, Iris. Duh. Why are, you, why are you hiding in the corner? She's Come, just, stop standing there awkwardly. She, yeah, she's just standing over there like, no, nah, I'm just going to let you guys talk. <laughs> you guys have yeah. your moment. I'm yeah. good. Yeah, I was going to say, five minutes ago, Fluff Cup chewed 10 bits saying, Iris must just be wondering what the heck is going on. <laughs> <clears throat> Surely they're not talking about my dead father. <laughs> It must be about a year ago now. I wrote a really long story based on some of my father's uh, old notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they gotta know about this too. Mm -hmm. It's about one of Hurley's greatest exploits. I called it the Hound of the Baskervilles. But then Mr. Sholmes forbade you from publishing it. He put the manuscript where nobody could get their hands on it. So nobody knows anything about it, apart from Hurley and I. Well, like, do you want to tell us about it? But for some reason, you knew the title of it, didn't you, Susan? Oh, yeah. Did we ever find yeah. out why she knew the no. title of it? No, we, we didn't. So are you still keeping secrets now, Susie? Yeah. Oh, it sounds so exciting. The Hound of the Baskervilles. I should love to read it. And you wouldn't tell me how you'd come to excuse me, know it. Yes, but I made you a promise that I would explain one day, didn't I? Well, it's not yet. So yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, I lied. <laughs> I think it's time. Oh, shit. Oh, We're getting more Ooh. more reveals. Yeah, what is this? The last case in the game? I'm only sorry I've had to keep it from you for so long, Iris. I actually have mind only, reading powers. I'm only sorry that I got caught. <laughs> okay. What do we pack? <clears throat> it was completely by accident that I came to know the title of your manuscript, Iris. It was a short while before we left Japan. I was cleaning Father's study, and I saw something on his writing desk. What the fuck? How did he have a copy of it? A large box of papers. There was a label affixed to the box that was written in English. It read... Secrety, hand... secret, 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 secret. <laughs> Don't read this, because it has lots of secrets. <laughs> so obviously, I read yeah, it. Yeah, I read it. Because <laughs> I'm Being a nosy a great bitch. secret keeper. <laughs> The Hound of the Baskervilles. What? I may not keep secrets, but I do take them. <laughs> My Baskerville story? Of course, I had no idea what it was at the time. But Father came in and... Susato, what are you doing? Oh, f Father... Did you look at those papers? <laughs> no, I simply read the label, that's all. Good, because if you read it, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> like I totally haven't done in the past. <laughs> well, put it out of your mind. Sorry? Forget that you ever saw it, and certainly don't tell anybody else about this. Do you understand? Hmm, hmm, hmm. But what was Iris's manuscript doing in Japan? Iris, are you Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Data bio. <laughs> <laughs> but when I heard Iris mention the word Baskerville that day... The title just slipped out. I would never have guessed that it was an unpublished account of one of Mr. Sholmes's exploits. Hmm. When I returned to Japan, I asked Father to explain, but he refused to answer any of my questions, and there was no sign of the big box in his office. Continue. Ah. 
continued surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Iris replaced herself with a wax figure of Iris. <laughs> God, she's Where so did good the real at that. Iris... <laughs> Where did she go? Substitution jutsu. Data bio. <laughs> That's really all I know about it. God damn it. People are saying, Jan, Jan Solo says Mikotoba is the powerhouse of Japan. <laughs> the Kami, uh, who, who, who said it? Uh, some people are saying Mikochondria, the powerhouse of the Dilks. Fucking all good. <laughs> all good bits. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I've no doubt that Father has a very good reason for being so secretive about it. But still... I made up my mind to explain myself to both of you. Well, thank you for being so honest, Susie. So we're gonna have to wait a month to figure out what the fucker dad was up to. <laughs> yup. So, Mr. Narahoto, I'm ready to start investigating if you are. I've committed every detail about the case to memory. And Iris has told me about the disturbing happenings at the Waxwork Museum as well. So, you're fully abreast of the situation already, Miss Yusato. I'm expecting nothing less, to be honest. Yes, and don't talk about my breasts. <laughs> I would think our first port of call should be to investigate this Mr. Trevor. The engineer responsible for building the elaborate machine that was used to effect this extraordinary trick. Yes, a conjurer of sorts, by the sound of it. Well known in the fields of science and magic. Then, we need to go and arrest him. Well, yes. He must know the truth behind this case. So I agree, we really do need to find the man. I bet and we don't find him until the very him. end of this day. Hmm. It sounds like it's a case of tracking someone down. I risk you have a new invention that's convenient for this. Oh. It's a dog! <laughs> <laughs> I invented dogs. Ooh. It's a hound. And he's of the Baskervilles. From Baskerville. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a job for the police. Or a great detective. Are we supposed to guess who she might be thinking of? We don't have much time, so we need to get started straight away, I think. Good idea. Well, best of luck then. Oh, you're not coming today. No. I'm going to Brixton Road shortly for the herb market. Iris, you're only I'm ten. Gonna go, I'm going to go see my weed dealer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to make some more herbal concoctions. But let me know later how you got on, won't you? That was a little abrupt. The pull of the herb market must be strong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, video game. You gave that I one mean, to us. Yeah. I've got to get my fix, Ryan. <laughs> uh, well, let's... New location. All right. Uh, we want to talk to Hairbrain. We want to go to Strongheart. The stage. Or to Spells. I, mean, I think it looks like we gotta go to all those places. Yeah, we do. Any preference on the order? I just uh, say just to... start rolling with it. Yeah, I say go to the prison first. All right, talk to talk, talk to talk Hairbrain. To... Talk oh to no! Oh god! Oh no! Oh Hairbrain! Oh, oh no! What have they done to you? <laughs> it's been one day. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? I would Mind love to would... know. I would love to know if any of these are actual equations or if they're all just nonsense. That's true. <laughs> With my new calculation, you can clearly see that F equals AK. God damn it. Fuck you. <laughs> He's... Oh my! The whole wall of the cell is covered in mathematical equations. And he's still writing more now. Um... Professor... Sorry to interrupt. Oh, uh... 
Mr. Norohodo! And who is this young lady? My name is Susato Mikotaba. I'm Mr. Narahodo's judicial assistant. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Oh, if only! If only I met a refined young woman like you sooner! What? <laughs> None of this would have happened. I don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> no, that's not logical. That makes no sense at all. Oh dear, I'm... I'm sorry if my presence here upsets you. I owe you an apology too, Professor. I didn't manage to deliver to you what I promised I would in court this morning. Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! The whole thing! The whole miserable affair! It all happened because I've been such a complete and utter clot! Your word's not mine. <laughs> um, <laughs> Professor Hairbrain? What have you been working on in your cell? Oh, these are crazy person scribbles. <laughs> they're just what you do if they're just what you do if you're a genius in a prison cell. You just you have to scribble stuff. I'm trying to prove that it's the water that's turning the frickin' frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, we make a lot of jokes here. I did not expect us to go to hairbrain uh, Alex Jones connection, <laughs> but sure. I like it. I like it though. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you, um, you mean that? Oh dear, how embarrassing. <laughs> I, I was suddenly struck by an idea, you see, and I simply had to write it down. The wall was all I had to hand. Oh, is it some new hypothesis? Something to surpass super high voltage instantaneous kinesis, maybe? Something real? No, that shit's lame. I'm done with that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, actually, this is my autobiography. Do you know how those work? It's called Your... A Guy That Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Your autobiography? How? No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you going to make me say this video game? Wow. <laughs> well, now I get oh, why. Oh, well. All right. Thank God Iris couldn't come after all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Wes. Uh, here we go. You got us. <laughs> How I was diddled and fiddled <laughs> by Albert Hairbrain. You might want to rework that one, my guy. <laughs> I found I can represent my odd fortunes with only odd numbers in an ambitious set of simultaneous equations. Really? <laughs> I'm going to have to pay back all the loans I took for the kinesis machine, you see. So it's going to be a new serial publication from next, pun from next month. Part one, an odd birth, an odd upbringing. Bro, did you just bring out a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Is that part no. of greed? No, it's Magic the Gathering. Jura number three gave it to me. You know that that's banned in tournament play. That's really What? Good. No! Wait, but what does that card do, Mr. Hairbrain? No one knows. <laughs> yep. You can't beat that man's optimism, that's for sure. I see. Well, for now, would you mind if we talked a little more about the case? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. I've been working through the numbers. I God. was diddled. I was fiddled by the pair Ooh. of them. <laughs> Two of them diddled and fiddled you. I mean, congrats, I guess. Or oh, sorry. I don't know. I'm not going to read that, bro. <laughs> by ass, man. <laughs> And by that aloof engineer, Trevor. <sighs> wow, you got diddled by an ass man? by an ass man? Well, I guess hairbrain is dummy thick confirmed then. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This might be the most on-brand writing in the entire franchise. Uh-huh. Listen, they're playing to their... They know their audience. Uh-huh. <laughs> they know our audience. <sighs> We're not going to have to sit through an explanation of all those equations, are we? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I was hoping that one of them was going to be the diddling and the fiddling, but... Oh, my God. No, they were going to be two separate ones. One is the diddling. <laughs> tell us about the diddling. And then the other... I was hoping you could tell us no, also no. about the fiddling. <laughs> <clears throat> Everything I believed in has been turned on its head. Has been diddled and fiddled. <laughs> <laughs> My research, Mr. Assman, the kinesis machine, my diddle, my hypothesis even. Is Jesus even real? <laughs> I'm sorry it's come to this. There really was no other way. No, it's not your fault. I wanted to protect my work, but in the end, there was nothing worth protecting. It was never my intention to deceive anyone. I didn't want to trick the public. No, of course you didn't. But in court this morning, I realized something. Oh? If you've done something wrong without knowing it, you've still done okay. something wrong. Logically, it makes no difference if you were aware of it or not. I was worried he was going to take it the other way, and I was like, no, 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 that's not how that works. <laughs> Ignorance is a poor excuse. The blame still lies with me. Oh, Professor. He believed in me this morning, you know. Beric did. He believed in my hypothesis. Well... I think that was just a necessary factor in the prosecution establishing its case. No, no. Beric wouldn't do something like that. I'm sure he genuinely believed it. Uh, did he? Just like you did. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I think I understand it now. Why it was that he decided to take on the prosecution in my trial. I mean... Okay. After the terrible accident, accident happened, nobody would believe in my hypothesis anymore. Not the police, not the prosecution service, not even, not any lawyers even. I feel like I dealt some kind of finishing blow there. So, if any other prosecutor had taken the case, if it was anyone other than Barrack... I'm sure the prosecution would have declared my hypothesis a complete and utter nonsense. And in that case, you would have been declared a fraud yourself, Professor. Exactly! Which would have been a fate worse than death for me! But Beric insisted that I was a proper man of science from start to finish. You... you think that's why he... I know him very well indeed. He's an extremely kind-hearted soul. Oh, man. But that extremely kind-hearted soul spent all morning trying to paint you as a murderer, didn't he? Well, admittedly, that part of the analysis appears to have some flaws in it. And what about the whole Reaper side of things? How does that fit in with the kind-hearted soul idea? Tell us about the man who diddled and fiddled you. <laughs> do, do you think he set out to trick me from the very start? I'm sorry to say that it does seem likely, yes. When I first met him, he introduced himself as the diddler, as a wealthy financier. <laughs> God, can you imagine if Batman had a spin-off villain called the Diddler? <laughs> hey, listen, Game Game Grumps made this joke. Damn it. It's a very it's a very funny bit. God damn it. Diddle me this, Batman. Did they say that joke? I'm sure they did. They did. God damn sure. it. <laughs> this is why this is why they're more popular than us, because they got there first. I know. <laughs> they did it with the Grinch. The Grinch oh, video. God, they streamed the Grinch a day before us. Fucking kill me. I know. <laughs> <sighs> he looked over the paper I'd written and said my work would benefit all humanity and must be pursued. 
He was so enthused. He was so emphatic. But in reality, he was the mastermind of some vast criminal network, it seems. I... I still can't believe it. As the machine was essentially a set decoration for some stage magic, it probably didn't require a large amount of investment, actually. But the scale of it! It wasn't just some small trick! It was a very elaborate feat of deception! All young scientists are full of hope about their burgeoning ideas, full of zeal! But none of us have any money! <laughs> we want to do research, but we can't afford it! I don't have any money. Then why the hell did you become a scientist? <laughs> Did I make this joke last week? We might have. <laughs> Again. Now I just want Bohemian Boy to come and be like, I have lots of money. <laughs> I still yeah, have yeah, loads of money. Just get, why doesn't that one just get a Bohemian child? <laughs> Yo, hey. I need a Bohemian child. If if you if you're watching this stream and you're a Bohemian child with lots of money, I don't know. Let us consider donating to save us, Let us know <laughs> what we could do for you. To relieve you to of get, some of that to money. To get some of that money. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming donation from a bohemian boy. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh -huh. that. <laughs> <clears throat> Many of us take on barely legal part-time work. Now I want to see barely legal hair brain. <laughs> part-time work to try to earn just a few measly pennies to carry on. To go through all of that, only be t only to be taken for a complete fool? It's too rotten to believe. It is. I agree. And that's why I have to find those responsible and bring them to justice. Mr. Assman is no more, of course. But she leaves only the engineer. Mr. Enoch Dreber. <laughs> and there it is. Gots just made a, a donation of one dollar. Thank you so yeah, much, Gots. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Sigmund Ornstein, I'm missing one, Gots. I think you missed two. He's got four names in there. I think it's Wilhelm. Yeah, Sigmund Ornstein. I, I got Sigmund Ornstein. Oh, no, you're right. You're yeah. right. You got three. Wilhelm Sigismund Ornstein. Yeah, Sigismund. Thank you, Wilhelm Sigismund. <laughs> and, Ornstein Gots. And Bohemian Child also just donated five dollars. Thank you both very much. I appreciate that. Wow, we have more than one Bohemian boy watching <laughs> our stream. Incredible, incredible. Is he an engineer or That's a right. magician? That's what it is. Or a swindler? It, it was about a year ago when Mr. Assman first brought Drebber to meet me in my laboratory. Since then, I've met him many times to discuss details about the Kinesis machine. But... At no point did you have any inkling that he was just an illusionist. That he was a kid now, or that he was a squid now. Oh, he was defi- oh, he definitely wasn't just an illusionist. What do you mean? Also, another rich bohemian boy just donated a dollar saying, I also have lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. He was a wealth of deep scientific knowledge. There's no question that the man's a genuine scientist. It's instantly apparent in conversation. I see. But the wretched man deceived you, Professor. It's unforgivable. We must do everything we can to find him and bring him to justice. Are there no more clues you can give us as to his whereabouts? Bohemian father just donated a dollar saying stop mani uh. manipulating my children you con colonial swindlers <laughs> <laughs> hey thanks for the dollar idiot <laughs> <laughs> you just gave us money too dummy I I'm sorry we only ever discussed the Canisius machine over Skype so I never met him in person <laughs> Nothing else. So, God damn it. Chat, you're being really funny tonight. Uh, so stop that. But Red Fox uh, said, he's just a rich boy from a rich family. Spare him his life from Zach's monstrosity. <laughs> <laughs> he's a rich boy from Bohemia. And you know it don't matter anyway. Very good. <laughs> hmm. Although, just once... 
did visit his workshop Ooh. at the North Pole. <laughs> what workshop? Trebby's enormous <laughs> fabrication laboratory, where he constructed my great machine. God damn it. Stop. Okay. This is the last one I'm going to read. Penis Wright cheered a dollar, <laughs> saying, hey, it's me, nice. Mr. Wright. Thank you, penis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, penis. Penis. <laughs> why? Hey, penis. Why didn't you mention this before? In a Trevor's workshop. There's every chance we might find the man there. <laughs> Don Ruby says that's what Zach says on Tuesday night. <laughs> 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 Holy Very shit. Funny. Very funny. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Again, because we're stopped right now. Bohemian Child, to the dollar, saying, My father has no say. I bought 600 balloons from my whimsy, so now I will pay the little American man for my entertainment. <laughs> <sighs> Very good. <clears throat> okay, give us the address. So you've been to Trevor's place of work then? Yes. Just once, you understand. It was an enormous place. Plenty of room to construct the Kinesis machine, you see. Where can we find it? We have to go there at once. There's a good chance we'll find Trevor there. Well, yes. Definitely, I'm sure. As in, I'm sure you're not going to want to hear this. God damn it. But I have absolutely no idea where the workshop is at all. I'm so sorry! I was more than half expecting that. I kind of expected you to suck. Yeah. Oh, you see, okay. I was blindfolded in the carriage the entire way there. I was gonna say, did they do a whole blindfoldy thing? Did yeah. you find did you find that weird suspicious <laughs> yeah. in any way, or is that just a thing for you? <laughs> or you or you were hoping it was going to have a happy ending? <laughs> no. No, I blindfold myself in the carriage because I'm so scared of moving really fast. <laughs> he blindfolded you? <laughs> Blindfolding would not help that. <laughs> he wasn't taking any chances. You'd then. still feel yourself move really fast. <laughs> oh no, you're right. <laughs> the place was incredible. The pinnacle of modern engineering. Uh, even the oil he used was the very best. A special French machine oil that's impossible to obtain in Britain. Ah, the indescribable scent of that imported oil. Perfumers across the world should forget their secret formula and use that instead. Okay. What do you think, Miss Susato? Eau de machine for your next birthday. I've never used any kind of perfume, perfume, Mr. Narahodo, and I'm not sure I'd like to start with that. I don't suppose you know even part of the workshop's address, Professor? You don't have a business card for Mr. Drever, for example. I was very clearly cautious, Miss Susato. I don't think that he would have given out a- Ah! Uh -huh! Yes, I do! He gave me his business card once. It's right here. Look! Well, holy shit. What? Let me see that. I love that she went into the Susato takedown pose to be like, give me that. She... <laughs> High five. Throw etiquette to the wind, why don't you? <laughs> Enoch Drebber, engineer. I'm afraid that's all it says. There's no address. No. Oh well. I can't say I'm surprised. Still, this could be useful. Yeah, All I right. bet there's a address in like invisible ink or yeah, something. Yeah, that's back. probably what my guess would be. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Uh, I don't really think we need to present anything to him. Uh, a bunch of people were saying we should go to the stage. Uh, sure. So why not? We'll, we'll, we'll go to the stage.